Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Tonight's 10-round heavyweight fight from Freedom Hall at the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center in Louisville features undefeated Cassius Clay, 1960 Olympic champion from Louisville, and hard-hitting, aggressive Alex Mitteff of New York City. Clay, only 19 years old, has gotten off to a flying start as a pro, winning all eight of his bouts and scoring five knockouts. As an amateur, he won the Olympic and National AAU light heavyweight titles and the Golden Gloves heavyweight crown. The 26-year-old Mitteff, who hails from Argentina and fights out of New York, is rated as a rough, tough cookie in the squared circle. Once number four among the heavyweights, he has been held back because he cuts too easily. In 35 fights, Mitteff has won 24, lost 10, and drawn once. He has KO'd 14 opponents and was stopped four times, three of these because of cuts. Mitteff stands six feet one half inch, while Clay is six two and a half. At the state athletic board weigh-in this morning, Mitteff was 210 pounds, while Clay was a light 188. In just a few minutes, a 10-round heavyweight fight between Alex Mitteff and Cassius Clay will get underway. <laughs> We're ready now to get festivities underway here in Freedom Hall, so let's go up into the center of the ring and our good friend, the announcer, George Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, we have as our guest this evening the former heavyweight champion of the world, Ezra Charles. All right, Ezra. <laughs> Ezra Charles. And ladies and gentlemen, also in the ring tonight, the former welterweight champion who last week lost his title to Benny Perret in a split decision, Emil Griffith. <laughs> this is a William H. King presentation. The ring officials are assigned here for the Kentucky State Athletic Board of Control, H.D. Glenn, Deputy Commissioner. Your judges are Waldebeck and Bill Cook. Your timekeeper, Ed Roby, counting at the knockdown, Art Gehring. Your attending physician, Dr. C. Wabner. Your referee, Don Asbury. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing and presenting from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 188 pounds, Cassius Clay. Yes, and his the opponent from Argentina, weighing 210 pounds, Alex Smith-Tapp. <laughs> you boys both had your instructions today at the uh, State Board of the Light Control Office. So without further ado, we'll shake hands now. We'll come out fighting, and good luck to you both. Okay. Here in Louisville is on the five points must system. Five points to the winner of the round, four or less to the loser. In an even round, they each get five. They have the mandatory eight count. If a man goes down, if a man is floored three times in one round, that is the end. It's an 18-foot ring, eight-ounce gloves. Here's round one. Metap in the black trunks, Clay in the white. As you'll notice, Clay has very quick hands. Mitteff likes to be the aggressor. I haven't seen him quite press so much as he's been doing tonight so far. He's a good two-fisted battler. However, if Clay continues to rip in those punches, he may open a cut or two on Mitteff. I 
188 pounds. Clay is lightning fast. A lot of those punches are blocked, by the way. This will unquestionably be the toughest fighter that Clay has been in with so far in his undefeated march. A minute and a half left in round one. A real salvo by Clay. One minute to go in round one. Play is really open fast. Seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Coming up to round two in Louisville in the beautiful Freedom Hall. Alex Smith at the black trunks. Cassius Clay in the white. Clay had a big first round. A schedule for ten. Don Asbury, the referee. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch Hope himself has scored heavily here. He could have hurt Clay with one of those punches on the far side of the ring. calculated to do no good to use a cliche now Clay has gone flat on his feet to get more power in his punches Nick Tap evening up things a little bit The thunderous punches the boys are unwielding here in round two. A little bit more than a minute left in this round. Clay has been hurt a little bit. and slow down to a walk. Oh. 
Metcalf is willing to take one or two or three to give one. Round two almost over. There's the bell ending round two. I don't think either man heard the bell. Back to the corner with Cassius Clay, who had 188 pounds tonight, is four and a half pounds lighter than the last time he fought. Facing him is trainer Angelo Dundee and uh, his uh, second, uh, Solomon McTeer, who is a fighter himself. Clay is managed by a Louisville sponsoring group of 11 managers led by Bill Faversham, who once boxed and played football. Alex Metcalf in his corner has the Emil Griffith crew. Howard Albert and Gil Clancy. Gil Clancy in front of him, Howard Albert on the left, and coming from California to help tonight, young man named Roy Perry, who has fighters out on the coast himself. Metcalf, after a very rugged... Uh, First round for Clay, Mitzhaf has come roaring back here to uh, make the contest very even, in our opinion, as we come up to round three. There's the bell. Clay in the white trunks, Mitzhaf in black. Quite a repertoire, hasn't he? Mitch paid for that. Here, how much head punching can Mitchell take? How much body punching can the younger 19-year-old Clay take? Metcalf wants to get in there and hold if he can. He's 12 pounds heavier. And if Clay is smart, he'll stay out of the clinches. One minute to go in round three. Seconds to go on round three. There's the bell. <laughs> the bell is sounded for round four. Crashes Clay in white trunks. Alex Mitchell in black. Scheduled for ten rounds. This is Clay undefeated after eight fights.
He's been well schooled. You can see by his moves. He knows all the punches. Metcalf probably figures that Clay is six feet two and a half. There's so much to aim at, he just throws at the body and figures he'll hit something. Now, uh, Metcalf isn't getting in the solid punches to the head that Clay is. is Punches to the head so far have been grazing punches, but not to the body. They've been hard. Play the good counter puncher. About a minute left in round four. holding on for a change. Somebody's going to break an arm in there. There's the bell ending round four. Referee Don Asbury talking to Gil Clancy, the uh, trainer of Alex Metcalf. Incidentally, Asbury, a former fighter himself, was a good one. He was the all-Navy light heavyweight champion back in 1932. And now our referee, Don Asbury, is also a psychologist. He's got a degree in psychology. Here's something of interest to all sports fans. Saturday is sports day on ABC. The best in boxing, the best in bowling on Make That Fair after the fight. And NCAA football, the cream of the college crop. Next Saturday, it will be Michigan State University against the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. And tomorrow, the American Football League television games are Buffalo at Houston and Dallas at Denver. Check your local paper for time and station on ABC, television's number one network for sports. Round five here in Louisville. Cassius Clay, the white trunks, Alex Metcalf and Black. Play opens fast every round. He's a picture fighter. Metcalf, rugged and tough and game, as you can see. So far, as far as we can see, Metcalf has not been cut. Clay has just been too fast for Metcalf most of the time. Oh. 
A minute and a half left in round five of a 10 rounder. Now, Mitchell is very puffy around the left eye. There's a swelling there, and it looks as though it might close. One minute to go in round five. Now there's a trickle of blood below the left eye of Alex Metcalf. Clay just outspeeding the veteran. Ten seconds to go in round five. There's the bell. We never had it. <laughs> Coming up to round six here in Freedom Hall at the Kentucky Exposition Center. Cassius Clay, the white trunks, Alex Metcalf in black. Metcalf, formerly from Argentina, now of New York City, weighing 210. Clay from Louisville weighs 188. Metcalf is pretty far behind in our estimation, and his hope is to get in a desperation punch. He's still a dangerous puncher, Metcalf is. Metcalf's left eye, closing rapidly. Trickle of blood below it. That's Metcalf down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't know where he is. They're going to stop it, and they should. It's a knockout victory for Cassius Clay. That's Alex Mitchell. He went as far as he could. Flesh, blood, and sinews couldn't carry him any further. Cassius Clay comes over to commiserate with him. Holly Albert with the glasses and Gil Clancy, his trainer, wiping him off. A sudden surprise ending. There's a very happy Angelo Dundee talking with referee Don Asbury. Cassius Clay, Solomon McTeer, his very good friend, putting the robe on him. And Cassius Clay continues undefeated. He has now won nine in a row and six by knockouts. I think this was his toughest bout so far, without any question. But after the third round, it was Clay just roaring and pulling away, showing a fine arsenal, a fine repertory of punches. Alex Metcalf is getting a hand as he comes over. Pats Clay on the shoulder. I guess Metcalf got hit with every punch in the book. A gamer fighter would have gone down earlier. He just ran out of gas. For a time in the second round, it seemed that Metcalf was taking... and was possibly going to win it. But uh, Clay is a much better fighter than most people have figured for a young fellow of only eight fights. 
There's Alex Metzev, Roy Perry now uh, wiping him off. It's the time. And 45 seconds of the sixth round, and the winner by a TKO, Cassius Clay. Yeah.